good morning good afternoon good evening how are you guys how are you my people hoping you're doing well i'm doing great it's tesh wajona here and welcome welcome so welcome welcome to our home yeah welcome to this place yeah it's where we talk about babies where we talk about children where we talk about our jobs it's all about lifestyle guys it's all about day-to-day -day things what we catch up on so if this is your content please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and you know just give me an idea down there what you'd like to know if you're new i'm a mom of three an eight year old five year old and a seven month old so guys today we are going to discuss about carers when you hear carers in uk what does it mean what does it mean so a carer is someone who helps another person in a day-to-day -day life yeah so that person can be your mom can be your brother your sister probably they're helping you because of an illness a long-term illness chronic disease but today we are going to discuss about a carer that you're not related you're not related with so uh, to clarify here you a mom can be a carer to their child and they can be considered a carer and get paid by the government because they are doing what another carer will be doing but today we are going to discuss about a carer that is not blood related you're doing it as a job okay guys so when you hear a, care, a carer, the, the carers works in elderly home and that's residential homes, nursing homes, and you can hear about a live-in carer. Live-in carer, they live where they work, in the person they're looking after, that's where they live. They live in that house, yeah? But a normal carer wakes up in their house and goes to work yeah and there is a support worker which the difference is not much but support worker works with people that they are more abled they can do more things all they need is a little bit of prompting so that to meet their day-to-day -to -day day to day life or expectations and those are the support workers but a carer will work with dementia people and um, people with, uh, with dementia people people who are elderly um, I'm originally Kenyan and in Kenya prob we have probably very few elderly homes and that's because people leave home and children are meant to look after their parents but what happens in UK because of how it's, it is and the lifestyle and so on and so forth people are taken to, uh, to care homes to be taken care of yeah so that the, their family are able to go to work and so on and so forth and some needs you'll find that uh, the family are not are not able to meet the needs of an individual so it's only safe they take that individual to a care home so what's the work of the carer a work of the carer is like i said earlier is making sure that they support that individual in it can be uh, making their food or even supporting them by feeding them support them by feeding them it can be personal care which will involve um, uh, washing them dressing them and so on and so forth if you're a support worker it will mean making foods for food for them going shopping for them and even attending community activities together with them yeah so why does it seem like care job is the most like the job that most people work it doesn't mean it's an easy job to get somehow it is but for me i would say um care job has more uh, people more people work in care jobs because it's flexible what i mean is the people you're looking after needs more needs 24 hours care that means there is different shifts there's different shifts and the one shift can be from six six hours 
that can be six hours to a long day which is 12 hours and um, the, at night a night shift can start from 7 p.m. or 9 p.m. and you're done by 7 in the morning so I for me I'll say it's flexibility and that's where you'll find most people work in the uh, most more people work in care it's the flexibility of hours uh, do you need to be qualified to be a carer no no you don't need to be qualified to be a carer when you apply for the job they give you the training you need to be suitable for that the role that you're supposed to accomplish so the training can be up to four days or up to a week and then the most important thing you will go through dbs dbs check to check that uh, because of safeguarding issues to make sure that uh, the people that you'll be looking after are safe with you yeah because they are considered as vulnerable people so it's important they make sure whoever is looking after them then the person is is capable or they, they will be safe with the person yeah so dbs is important they'll give you the training so you don't have to be you don't have to be trained and um, can you build a career from being a carer yes you can most carers have a uh, have gone up and graduated as nurses or home or a uh, or nursing home managers so you can go up and up and up and up and up and uh, con uh, continue with your uh, you can have de a degree in health and social care and you can have a degree in nursing and so on and so forth there's something they call healthcare assistant a hca a hca is found in the hospital so it, they can be found in theaters and so on and so forth the health the hcas more or less does the job of a carer that is uh, supporting the patients with personal care, making sure the, pa uh, the patients are hydrated. And um, if the buzzer goes, the HCAs are the ones to go and respond to the buzzer, not the nurse. So HCAs are found in the hospital, but the roles are more or less of those of our carers. How are they paid? How much is the pay? I would say it depends whom you're working for and um, the pay the, if you're working with agency agencies pay better than a permanent staff that's my experience agency pay better than a permanent staff but with agency you find that you work you don't have a permanent job so if I'm sick today then I'm not earning and I won't be paid by anyone because I work with agency as they call me for jobs when they are available but if you are employed permanently then you can have sick leave maternity leaves and so on you can have the benefits of be, of being a permanent member of staff but being with agency you earn a little bit more but again you are not entitled to ask for shifts from the agency or so on you just give your availability like i'll be able to work monday tuesday and wednesday so that's what they offer you and you can go for your shifts and that's only what you're paid for so the wage it depends the more you work the more you can earn but i wouldn't say it's the best paid job yeah as much as it's a very very important it's a very you uh, carers play a very very important role in the society or in the nursing homes it's not the best paid job so um you have to be when you're going to work as a carer it's because it's in you it's because you like people it's because you want to see you you have a heart of making sure that of of wanting people to achieve of wanting to put a smile on people's face but you can't say you're being a carer because of money there is no money there yeah but the more hours you put into into a day or into weeks or and so on and so forth you will get money yeah because I, I i do understand like if you hear the kind of job you're doing you're feeding you're supporting people with personal care and so on and so forth you might tend to think that is very well paid no so and it needs patience it needs a lot of patience so if you're not a person that is very patient it's if you're not a person that you like um you get 
<laughs> when you hear someone repeating things and you can you get frustrated then that's not your job because you will meet dementia people who will uh, dement people with dementia and they will keep repeating the same thing and also the buzzers might go on and on and sometimes the buzzers are from one person who keeps buzzing and buzzing and buzzing and probably you are on the end of that floor and you have to walk like 50 times until your shift is done so that needs a lot of patience a lot of patience a lot of love a lot of kindness remember the people you are looking after some of them were born like that they didn't have a choice it's some of them were born like that it's a phys uh, it's a disability and some of them it's because of old age so i will say with this job is just treat a person the way you would like to be treated yep so it's it's a good job it's a good job and it's a job that the ears have done i enjoy it when i'm whenever i'm there and you know it's it i live i live a purpose it doesn't have to be carer i'm a, my background is child care i've looked after my background is child care like i said i've looked after children and i'm qualified to look after children but uh, i do it's kind of yeah they link together i can do whichever you know but for today we are talking about carers so next time we might talk about children yeah taking care of children babysitting child minding ecdl and so on and so forth so guys hope you've uh, you've learned something today and i'm hoping that i see you next time so what do we need to do guys we need to keep it safe we need to wash our hands keep washing our hands mask on social distancing and guys you know if we don't have to meet in crowds then let's not do it because yeah it's still here and we don't know when it's going away so let's see you next time